Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up another challenging question from radical equations. The given equation is x is equal to square root 42x plus 40 over square root 5 plus 6x minus x square. x belongs to real numbers. So let's get started. We can conclude few points just by observing this equation. This x should be always greater than 0. Left hand side denominator, I will say this cannot be 0. Now I can cross multiply the written terms. So I can multiply x with the square root 5 plus 6x minus x square equal to square root 42x plus 40. Now consider squaring. So I will write a square. Here I will write a square. Now a square root and a square we can cancel. Left hand side I will write x square. Now this square root will be cancelled out. 5 plus 6x minus x square. And right hand side will write only 42x plus 40. Now let's multiply. So 5x square plus 6x cube minus x power 4 minus 42x minus 40 and right hand side will be 0 now. Now let us write in appropriate order minus x power 4 plus 6x cube. Then I will write 5x square then minus 42x, then minus 40 and right hand side will become 0. Now I will multiply this equation with minus 1. So equation will be x power 4 minus 6x cube minus 5x square plus 42x plus 40 equal to 0. Now I will use one perfect square method or trick. It is x power 4 we can write x square whole square. Okay. Now this is 6x cube. So we can write it is 2 times x square times 3x. 2 times x square times 3x is 6x cube. So if you will see this is a square a basically and whole square minus 2ab. So it is 2 times a times b. So this is our b. So I need to write here 9x square to make this perfect square. So I have to compensate this 9x square. So I will write minus 14x square because 9 minus 14 is minus 5 plus 42x plus 40 equal to 0. Now we can write a square, see it is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So in this place I will write x square minus 3x whole square. Now I will take minus 14 common from these two. So I can write minus 14 times in bracket x square minus 3x and then 40 will be there equal to 0. Now obvious substitution is let x square minus 3x equal to a. So our equation will become a square minus 14a plus 40 equal to 0. Let's solve this quadratic equation using factorization method. 10 times 4 is 40. So a square minus 14a plus 40 equal to 0. a square minus 10a minus 4a plus 40 equal to 0. 
a is common a minus 10 minus 4 is common a minus 10 equal to 0 a minus 10 is overall common so a minus 4 will be left so factors are here it is a minus 10 times a minus 4 so we will write a minus 10 will be 0 conclusion is a equal to 10 and once a minus 4 equal to 0 we will write a equal to 4 now what is a a was our substitution x square minus 3x so we have to solve again two quadratic equations for 10 and 4 values so i will frame first x square minus 3x is equal to 4 and second quadratic will be x square minus 3x is equal to 10. Now let us write in the LHS all the terms. So x square minus 3x minus 4 equal to 0. And here I can write x square minus 3x minus 10 equal to 0. Now we can write middle term as x square minus 4x plus x and then minus 4 equal to 0. After taking x common from first two, it will be x minus 4 left and minus 1 common. No, it is plus 1. So x minus 4 again it will be there. So x minus 4 times x plus 1 equal to 0. So from here we can write x is equal to negative 1 and 4. Now come to this quadratic equation. I will write x square. Now factors of 10, 5 times 2. So I can write minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 equal to 0. Again x is common from first two x minus 5 and 2 is common from last two x minus 5 equal to 0. So x minus 5 times x plus 2 equal to 0. So we can write x will be equal to negative 2 and 5. So there are four values negative 1, negative 2, 4 and 5. Immediately as per our condition, this LHS, this should be always greater than 0. So we can cancel these two immediately. Now we will cross-examine the remaining two, whether they are true solution or not. So far it is 4 and 5. Let's check. So I will write check x equal to 4. So LHS, it will be straight away 4. Now I will check RHS. A square root 42 times 4. So let me write here 42 times 4 plus 40 divided by. A square root 5 plus 24 minus 16. Now it will become a square root 168 plus 40 divided by a square root 29 minus 16. Further we can write it is 208 in the numerator as a radicand and in denominator we can write it is 13. Now using property of radicals we can club 208 divided by 13 in a single square root. Now this is, if you will check, this value is 16. So square root 16 is 4, which is our LHS. So these two are equal. That means x is equal to 4 is true solution. Now let's check x is equal to 5. So x equal to 5. LHS will be the same 5. RHS should meet 5. 
so let me write here 42 times 5 plus 40 divided by square root 5 plus 6 times 5 30 minus 25 now numerator I will be writing 42 times 5 so it is 210 plus 40 divided by square root 35 minus 25 so square root 10 again using the same property I will write 210 plus 40 so 250 divided by 10 now these two zeros will be cancelled out square root 25 which is 5 so RHS equal to LHS that means this is also true solution so our final solution for this radical equation it is 4 and 5 I hope friends this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself bye bye